This is the assembly tutorial for the compact robot arm and controller. This video will be laid out in basic steps and I'll go through everything at a steady pace so feel free to pause or rewind the video at any point. Okay, let's build it. Part 1 First, here's everything you'll need to make this robot arm. All of the parts and STL files have been linked in the description. We have the 3D printed parts, one high torque servo motor, three standard servo motors, one micro servo, all with their included attachments. One Arduino Uno, and I'm using a Leonardo instead of an Uno, but it works just the same. One servo driver module, four potentiometers, one push button, two 40 tooth gears, one 34 tooth gear, any kind of foam or grippy substance for the gripper, a small piece of clear acrylic, one rubber band, one LED, one switch, one 7 volt power supply with a couple of T-plugs, a set of wires and shrink wrap, a couple of sets of screws, and a set of connectors. That's all of the parts. And these are the tools I'll be using. I've got screwdrivers, glue, a soldering iron, crimpers, and a pair of cutters and wire strippers. Now there are many different ways to do most of the things I show in this video. I'm just presenting exactly what I did to build this arm. And if you find a different or better way of doing any of these steps, please don't hesitate to share it in the comments. So first we need to make some wire extensions for our servos. In the micro servos case, this will be 20 centimeters. And it doesn't matter where you cut the servos cable. Then you'll solder all three wires of the extension to the servo. And you can keep them insulated with shrink wrap. And you can either heat these up with the soldering iron, or just wave a torch over them. Now we'll solder on the other side of the servo wire. And make sure to put the shrink wrap on before you solder. Now that that's done, we need to make extensions for the wrist servo and the elbow servo. And these will be 18 centimeters and 10 centimeters. After you get those all soldered, you should have a 20 centimeter, an 18 centimeter, and a 10 centimeter extension. And I would recommend labeling each servo connector. In this case, the letter W is my wrist servo. And thanks to the company Cutie for providing an X Plus 3 3D printer for this video. This printer is seriously awesome. It's designed to be a speed printer, which means it can print things in a ridiculously short amount of time. I'm printing these parts at over 300 millimeters per second with just standard PLA filament. And it can actually go even faster than that. In fact, the max printing speed is 600 millimeters per second. It has a build volume of 280 by 280 by 270 millimeters and is powered by Clipper firmware. This printer also has a heated chamber and automatic bed leveling, so it can print with even your most abrasive materials. The X Plus 3 has a ton of great features, and I encourage you to check it out if you're looking for a fast and reliable printer. I've linked it down in the description. After you print all the parts, there are unfortunately quite a bit of supports to remove. Okay, the first part we'll be working with is the gripper piece and first we'll insert the micro servo wire into this slot. Then you can screw it down using the two longer screws included in the servo attachment bag. Once that's screwed down, you can attach the servo cover to the gripper piece. Now 
and for this we'll use two of the screws shown on screen. Then we can press the servo horn onto the servo. And we'll screw it down with that last screw in the bag. Then taking the gripper fingers, we can glue down some foam pieces onto each one. Then you can slide them onto the gripper. Next we'll wrap a rubber band around the two fingers. Then using one of our 40 tooth gears we can either drill some holes in the gear and screw it down to the gripper or just glue it. Next we'll take an M4 by 6mm screw and its washer and we'll screw it into the gear. Then we'll screw another M4 by 6 on the other side. And now the gripper assembly is done. Now we'll be using our wrist servo. So out of this servo's included bag, we'll take out the circular servo horn. Then we're going to attach our other 40 tooth gear onto this servo horn. And again, this can be either screwed on or glued. And you can screw in an M3x8 screw and its washer into this servo. And now we'll take this forearm piece and we'll insert our servo in the inside. And you'll screw it down using the four long screws in the servo bag. Now we will need one M2 by 8mm screw and six washers, and our 34 tooth gear. Three of those washers will go on one side of our 34 tooth gear, and the other three will go on the other side. We'll then screw this onto the forearm. And the next step is to subscribe if this video has been helpful so far. Next we'll take our elbow servo and insert it next to the wrist servo. And we'll use those same screws from the servo bag. After that is screwed in, we will feed our gripper servo wire through the other side of the forearm piece. Now we will connect the two forearm halves together. At first we need to insert all of our servo wires from our first forearm piece into the slot at the bottom of our second forearm piece. 
Then we can fit the two halves together. And for this we'll need two M3 by 30 millimeter screws. After those two are screwed down, we'll also need an M4 by 6 mm screw on the other side. Now we'll be using this main arm piece. And we'll use another one of those circular servo horns. And we'll need four of the screws shown on screen. And these four screws will be screwed in across from each other. And now we will screw our 20 kilogram servo into the main arm. And we'll be using those same four screws from the servo bag. And now we'll press that servo horn onto our last assembly. Now taking the other half of our main arm, we will feed all of the servo wires, except for the 20 kilogram servo wire, into these two slots as shown. Then we will feed our 20 kilogram servo wire through only one of these. And we can secure the two halves together by using two M3 by 30 millimeter screws. And the last step to this part is to insert one M4 by six millimeter screw into the hole by the servo wires. And now this assembly is done. And that concludes part one of this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe if this video has been helpful for you. Alright, in the next part I'll show you the wiring, how the controller is made, and we'll upload the code. Part 2 of this tutorial should show up on screen now, and it's also in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye!